Good morning and welcome to Follow Me Fontaine. It feels a bit surreal. Can't quite believe it's happening, but I'm off to the Prince Edward Theatre to rehearse for what will be my sixth time in Les Mis. <laughs> I'm very excited to see everyone, but first is a COVID test. The first of many, because we're all being tested every 48 hours. And then a flu jab. Slightly being poked and prodded this morning, but all for good reason. Make sure that none of us have got COVID and that we're all safe when we're in the theatre. And then rehearsals begin. It's gonna be very strange being back in a room with everyone. I don't know if it's gonna feel like normal, I'll be honest. Just walking past Six's new home. Yay! I think I'm right in saying this, but the reason that Les Mis looks like it's on at the Gilgud and the Sundime is because to socially distance everyone, we are using the Gilgud for some of the dressing rooms, I think. I think as he think. Gotta go and get some food before I go in, make sure I'm set up for the day, food-wise. And I just had a really horrible feeling that prep would be closed, but it's not, I just saw someone go in. The COVID screenings are happening this morning between 9 and 10.30, and it's like six minutes past nine, so I'm just, I've got her early, just gonna get it out of the way, and then I can sit and have my porridge and my coffee. I've done my COVID test. I'm yet to have my flu jam. The doctor's arriving at 10. So I'm gonna sit and have my coffee and my porridge. I'm all clear. I don't have COVID. I've got my wristband to prove it. And now I have had my flu jab. I've been jabbed in the arm. I remember last time I had a flu jab, it was really painful. Like it really hurt. And that was fine. I think I was just having a very sensitive day the last time I had a flu, a flu jab. But yeah, I feel dosed up, COVID free and ready to go. Hello. Hello! Yes, you? Yeah, really good, thank you. Really good. I was so convinced that that was a mirror for some reason, even though I can't even see myself. Idiot! Hello, it is day two for me. It's day three overall. I wasn't needed yesterday. Which means we're being tested every 48 hours, which means I need to go and have my second COVID test. So I thought I'd show you the little COVID testing room. Go. Just had the swab up the nose, and now I've got to head up to the dress circle to sit and wait for my results, which should be in about half an hour. I've just got to sit here and wait until I'm given my results. I'm just going to sit and read my book for half an hour. I don't think I'm allowed to eat and drink until I get my results. That would make sense. But I did hear someone the other day say that we can. I'm not going to chance it, just in case. So my call time for rehearsals is 10.30. But my test screening time is 9.45. So that's going to be the deal from now on. We need to get here like at least 45 minutes to an hour earlier than our rehearsal call time just to make sure we're all tested and COVID free and safe, which is great. I'm about to do a Fontaine vocal call after doing the factory. Here we go. I haven't sung I Dream to Dream in a very long time. Let's do it. So maybe <laughs> Midnight, as you can tell from a giant clock over there. 
Yes, I did say clock. And I've just had the very impromptu idea to do Vlogmas. Literally hadn't thought about doing it prior to today. And then all of a sudden, I think I saw someone else on Instagram doing it. I don't know, the idea came from somewhere. And I was like, oh, maybe I should do Vlogmas. Because Lame is the staged concert is happening this Christmas. And so I thought that's actually gonna make my Christmas quite entertaining and quite fun to watch, hopefully. And I miss vlogging. I know I vlogged for 188 videos or whatever it was, but um, that was vlogging within the comfort of your own home when you're not actually vlogging, when you're not actually like out and about um, documenting your day-to-day -day life. The good morning, good evening world videos where me and Ollie trying to um, keep boredom at bay essentially. Whereas this, I'm going to be spending Christmas back at the Sondheim and the Gilgood Theatre putting on a show during Covid, which I feel like is going to be quite a fun watch. I'm just going to go for it. If I miss a day here or there, I'm not going to stress too much. I also handed in the first draft of my new novel, With This Kiss, uh, about a week ago. Um, so I'm waiting for my editor to get back to me with the first let's say the first round of notes, the first part's already gone through a round of notes, but what is essentially the first round of notes. Um, so I thought, let's get in quickly with a vlogmas before those notes come back to me. <laughs> As you can see, my Christmas tree is already up. These aren't the lights that I chose. These are very like blue bright lights. Um, and I did have lovely warm twinkly lights. Um, plugged them in, then decided the tree needed tinsel, and as I was putting the tinsel on the tree, tripped over the lights and pulled the wiring out. Really good. That was a really good start to my Christmas. I've already had a few people say to me, it's November, your tree shouldn't be up. I'm not one of those people. As soon as bonfire night is out of the way, which for anyone who doesn't live in the UK, that is the 5th of November. November, no, what is it? Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. Don't know what the rest of that rhyme is. As soon as that's out of the way, Halloween, bonfire night, Christmas. As soon as November 6th hits, that is my Christmas tree up. Although I waited this year, I waited this year to put it up. So the Christmas spirit is well and truly alive in the Fletcher Ormson household. Basically, this first video is me just telling you that I'm doing Vlogmas, we hope you enjoy it. Um, and I'm gonna go to bed because tomorrow I need to be in the theater at 10.30 for my 4,000th COVID test. Um, and then we start teching. Tomorrow is the first day that we are actually in our theatre. We've been rehearsing at the Prince Edwards, uh, which is where Mary Poppins is on. And all of the boilers were broken. So it was the most freezing rehearsal environment ever. Um, but this week we're back in our home, back at the Sondheim slash Gilgood. And um, hopefully the boilers will be working. Fingers crossed. So I will see you tomorrow for some lamest Christmas fun.